What a bro. First bridge here on the coastal road at New Road is now fully paved and it's looking all beautiful. They said it was too ambitious. They said it would take the kids. Some even said it would never leave the drawing board. But today, standing along the Atlantic coastal line of Lagos, those doubts have been washed away one concrete slab at a time. This is a Lagos Calabar coastal highway. A project designed not just to connect cities but to redefine movement, trade, and coastal development across Nigeria. Stretched over 750 kilometers, this highway is set to link Lagos to the south, south, and southwest, opening up economic corridors that has remained locked away for generations. Right now, the feature is under construction. As of today, Four different sections are actively taking shape, each telling its own story of engineering, ambition, and momentum. From massive network drainage systems to base stabilization and concrete pavement pushing forward, this is no longer a proposal, it is progress in motion. In this video, we are breaking down how many bridges are actively under construction on section 1 and section 2 of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Right here, between kilometer 4 and 5, the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway meets one of its first major separation, the Marua Junction Flyover Bridge. This flyover is a crucial piece of infrastructure designed to carry traffic across the coastal road while coastal road traffic moves beneath. Instead of stopping flow from the traffic lights or intersection, the road will pass freely beneath the bridge. A clear statement that this highway is built for speed, safety and long time capacity. For now, Construction remains at ground level. What you're seeing on the site is a foundation stage. Deep piling work are ongoing, drilling into the unstable coastal soil to create a solid base that will carry the full weight of the flyover structure. In an environment like this, with a high water table, piling is not optional. It is what determines the lifespan. An important detail here is the alignment. At this location, the two carriageways of the coastal road to Noro parallel. The Marwa Junction flyover interact only with one carriageway, not both. The bridge is carefully positioned to cross active alignment while leaving room for future expansion. This may look uncasual to the casual observers, but this is an engineering masterpiece. It is deliberate. In the coming months, the pairs will be standing and Probably taking work will begin on the flyover. Till then, I will keep you posted on what's going on on this bridge. Moving forward along the corridor, we arrive at Jakonde Interchange, one of the most strategic bridge locations on Section 1 of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Unlike the Marawa flyover, where work is still focused on foundation, Jack on the interchange has moved beyond the ground. Here, piling work is already completed. What you see now is the next major phase of the bridge construction. PS formation is actively ongoing. Foam work is in place, reinforcement cage are rising. The bridge elements are beginning to define the final structure. This stage marks a crucial transition from invisible engineering below the ground to visible infrastructure above. 
the Jaconde interchange is designed to eliminate conflict points between local traffic and fast moving coastal highway vehicles. Once completed, vehicles will be able to emerge, exit, and cross the corridor without stopping, without traffic lights, and without congestion. This is the essence of a modern interchange traffic flowing over, under, and across the highway seamlessly. The importance of this bridge cannot be overrated. Check on this seat at the very busy movement zone. Without an interchange, this point will easily become a bottleneck. Instead, what is being built here is a free traffic flow system engineered to handle today's traffic and tomorrow's growth. As construction progresses, the next milestone will be unmistakable. Pierce head taking shape, gators and decking work following, and finally, the elevated lanes that will carry traffic effortlessly across the coastal road. At Jakonde, the message is clear. This project is no longer about preparing the ground. It's about building upward. Just a few meters away from Jack on the Interchange Bridge, we encounter another major milestone on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, the New Road Flyover Bridge. And this bridge tells a powerful story of how fast things are moving. Only a few weeks ago, this structure was still under construction. Bridge pavement work were ongoing, finishing touch was still being applied, and traffic was kept away as engineers complete the final layers. But today, the story has changed. The flyover is now fully paved, smooth concrete deck are in place, and most importantly, it is already carrying live traffic. Vehicles now move effortlessly across the elevated structure, gliding over the coastal corridor without interruption. No diversion, no waiting, just continuous flow are meant to achieve separation of movement and elimination of congestion points. The speed at which this bridge moves from pavement work to full operation highlights a key pattern along this corridor. Once foundation work and structural elements are completed, finishing work progress rapidly. This flyover also plays a supporting role to the Jack Conde interchange, working together as a part of a cluster of great separated crossings designed to keep traffic moving smoothly along the busy stretch of Lekki and Victoria Island. Here, we are not just seeing a bridge, we are seeing an infrastructure transition from construction to daily use prove that the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway is already beginning to function, even as work continues. And as we move further along the roads, more of these moments are beginning to appear. Now we arrive at Lagos Junction, a location where the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway does something deliberate and symbolic. Here, the coastal highway rises at this junction. Traffic on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway will fly over the Lekki Deep Seaport Access Road, ensuring that long distance highway movement is never interrupted by industrial or local traffic below. This is not just crossing, it is a statement of priority. The statement is already visible. The piers are standing tall, massive concrete column emerge from the ground, marking the exact part of the highway. Some pier structures are fully formed while others remain work in progress, frozen mid construction reinforcement exposed, foam work rising, concrete securing. This stage of construction is where the bridge truly begins to announce itself. Below ground, piers have already done their job, anchoring the structure deep into stable soil. Above ground, the columns are now taking over, transferring the strength upward, preparing to carry the weight of a fully loaded coastal highway. Each pier here is built step by step. Reinforcement cage assembled with precision, form work carefully aligned, concrete board and left to gain strength over time. There's no rush in this phase. Every mile meter matters. When completed, the lack of flyover will allow uninterrupted coastal traffic to glide over one of the most important industrial access routes in the country, serving the Lekki Deep Seaport, free trade zone operations, and future logistics hub. What you are seeing right now is a moment before elevation become motion. Soon, Pierce Head will follow, then Kidas, then the bridge deck that will lift traffic into the air. 
For today, at the local, the story is simple and powerful. The foundation are set, the columns are rising, and the coastal road is preparing to fly. For now, these are the four bridges under construction on the section 1 and section 2 of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. But that does not mean these are all the bridges that will be constructed on the section 1. We should expect more bridges along this alignment in 2026. This is where we round up this video to be continued next time. I remember your boy, OZ.